Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your paragraphs into columns in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to start off by inserting some random text into Word, which is actually pretty simple. All I need to do is type enter or equals rand, R-A-N-D, or if you wanted to use lorem ipsum, you could type in L-O-R-E-M. And then I'm going to do, I want five paragraphs and we'll do with five sentences each. I'm going to close that and hit enter. So that's going to enter some randomized text here. So now what I'm going to do is if I want this whole document into uh, to divide it up into columns, I can do that pretty easily by clicking on layout and then on columns. Now if I click on columns, it's going to let me choose how many columns I want to have on here. So I can, if I want to just break it into two columns, I can do that. If that looks a little weird, maybe I can do three columns, but looks like I don't have quite enough text here to fill up all three columns, but you can see it makes it narrower. Now I'm going to undo this, but the nice thing about this as well is that Microsoft lets us either divide the whole document or just parts of it into columns. So if I want to just do part of a call, you know, part of my document, I can highlight that section. So say I want to just split this one paragraph up into columns. So I just highlight it by clicking and dragging to highlight the whole thing, or you can just click enough times and it'll, I think you click four times and it'll select the whole paragraph. So again, on the layout tab here, I want to click on columns and say I want to split this into three columns. I can easily do that right there. Now, if I go to the paragraph before and hit enter, it's going to pop me into this column here. So if you want to put something that goes across the whole line here, like if you wanted to add a line, um, I would recommend um, holding shift and hitting enter and then that will allow you access to this whole uh, line here if you wanted to add add a line like that. So if you wanted to kind of block that off, it's not going to let you do that big thick black line, um, but a lot of you complain about it. Um, that's one of my top videos is how to get rid of that thick black line. So uh, this is pretty helpful. And then same with down below here if you wanted to add another line here to kind of cordon off this section you can do that there to add a bit of accent to this paragraph here. So there's a lot you can do with Microsoft Word columns. Again, you can apply it to the whole document or you can apply it just to part of it. Um, so there's a lot you can do. Now, if I wanna take this back to one column, what I can do is I can highlight it again and then I can change it back to one column and it's gonna go right back to there. Or I can highlight it and maybe I want three columns, maybe I want two columns, whatever you think looks best for your uh, for your document. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out my website, Simple Software Tutorials, and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.